Hi, Graham. Hello. Hi. Uh, it's ob obviously an uh, honor to be able to speak with you. Um, oh, I, I, I've seen the, the first episode and uh, also read the books over the summer, so I know where mm. we're heading. Um, but I wanted to ask you, actually, since you <laughs> dabbled in fantasy before, uh, mm -hmm. you, you, you've done uh, uh, the Hobbit for with uh, the Hobbit movies with Peter Jackson and and uh, uh, the Witcher series as well now, uh, and, and now this. Is there anything that you feel that ties all of them together while being on set, uh, or, or does it feel like any other set you you step on? No, um, well, candlelight. Yes, candlelight ties them all together. Candlelight, cloaks, swords, yeah. horses. Um, yeah, I'm never far from any of those. It, it, it's it's not exactly how I imagined things, but I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, but when you go on a set like this, you well, especially some of the sets on House of the Dragon, you can't help but be impressed by the sheer scale of them. I mean, these are big worlds that are being established. Multiple characters, multiple storylines, intersecting storylines. It's not um, <clears throat> it's not a courtroom drama. Let's put it that way. Yeah. And 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 in that way, I mean, they are they're fiendishly difficult to get right. I think because of, for that very reason, you know, you have to be spinning many many plates with these sort of shows, but. It's a testimony to people like Ryan and Miguel that they've actually succeeded so well with this because there were some huge challenges making a show like House of the Dragon. Logistically, um, you know, we, we were making it obviously during COVID, et cetera, et cetera. But um, everybody pulled together and it, it, it really shows, I think, that teamwork um, that's so important on any film set, uh, but particularly on something like this, that it really worked, yeah. Uh, I was also wondering, uh, since I read the the books, uh, they are it, it's more like a, a history book, uh, not not that much of uh, sure. uh, dialogue and and yeah. uh, even um, different um, perspectives to uh, what happens. Did Perfect. did you only use uh, the writing from Ryan, or or did you go to the books as well and try to find your characters' inner being? I mean, I, I, I've now done a lot of different productions that have had source material that uh, are either novels or, in the case of Preacher, was a comic book. Yeah. Um, and I, I try, I, while I read them, <clears throat> I really take my guidance and inspiration from the scripts and from people like Ryan and from Miguel um, and the conversations that you have with them. Because while you, you do have a responsibility definitely with this sort of thing to honor the legacy that's been created. Uh, you also have to make them your own. And, and in that sense, you sort of have to not throw them away, but you need to, uh, you need to be able to take on a character like Sir Harold Wrestling, for instance, and just say, well, this is, this is how I'm going to do it. It might not exactly be how you would like it, but this is how I'm going to do it. And it was the same with, Dougal McKenzie and Outlander with Dwalin and The Hobbit and, and any others that I've been involved in, um, The Witcher, et cetera. It, they, are, they are shows that, that need to live. Yeah. Uh, they're not dead things. So um, yeah, you, you approach them in that way. So if you had to choose uh, to spend your mm -hmm. own life in a candlelit uh, environment, uh, which one of, of these fantasy shows would you like to experience for yourself in real life, if you had to choose? Oh, wow. Well, um, I mean, the thing about, <clears throat> for instance, something like The Hobbit, you, yeah. you know very clearly who your enemies are. You know? You, that, that's you, true. They are orcs. That's yeah. it. There are trolls. No, they're very easily identifiable. The tricky thing about shows like this is that it's not easy to see who your enemies are. And someone who may appear to be your friend may turn out to be the opposite. So uh, I would personally rather live in a world where you know who your enemies are than one you, where you don't. But, um, you know, that's the world of House of the Dragon is, is a world of shadows. And, uh, and that's what makes it so interesting and dramatic and engaging uh, all right it's, it's always <laughs> interesting. 
Yeah. yeah. So unfortunately, we are, are out of time, but uh, thanks a lot for your answers and no, best okay. of luck with the premiere now. Thank you very much. Thank you.